Yeah, because I think that could be yeah, hey guys. that could be a thing. Yo, what the fuck? So, so, sorry, I was a bit late. Where, what happened? You hit by a car? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I did actually. I actually did. Shit, that fucks you up, bro. Yeah, bro pop a little bandage, man. Stuff up. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we saying L? Hey, good. How are you? I'm good, Hello. man. Chilling, chilling. Hi, Mr. K. Yeah, bro. Blue, 20, 20 seconds. That blue fit is sick. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, take a seat, man. Take a seat. We'll do. We'll do. Thank you, man. How you been, brother? I got your text, but I also yeah. heard that maybe uh, shit's change. I don't know. Still yeah, but I don't know, man. It's conf we we kind of um, we obviously I wanted a meeting with yourself and and P and the rest of the execs here just to kind of hear the offer out, you know, and even if it's going to be, if you, even if it was going to be a no, I would still want to hear you out and, you know, tell you in person. But then I think before the Mandem, the Burning Mandem event, they wanted to kind of like announce me in. Um, so I was like, fine, you know, if you've got everything ready, uh, I mean, I tried to call you anyway, but I don't think you were in the city. So I was yeah, like, was let's, for a bit. yeah, that's all good. So I was like, let's just do it. And then, um, and then <laughs> we had the meeting, they added me as an artist, you know, but they didn't pay yet. And they didn't, um, give me the contract yet. They said they'll do it during the show. That didn't happen during the show and then the day after it didn't happen and then we, me and Elle were getting a house for the studio and stuff or to try and like figure something out you know with with the shit you know sharing the garage the car and stuff and i was trying to get the money and i went to the meeting had a meeting with them um and then they turned me away went to do something else and said oh we'll be back in 10 minutes and then just they weren't back you know so i was thinking is that if that's the start of the life at manor records it wasn't going to be the best start um so I kind of told Sparky just to hold off the signing just for a day or two because um, I know P wanted to have a meeting as well. So I thought if I missed the meeting originally with you guys because of them wanting to sign and then they fumbled the contract and the money, then at least the least I can do is have the meeting, you know? Yeah, I feel you. I understand this. And, um, you know, Mandem's a great. Yo, really that's awesome. Bill. Thank you for the sub, uh, man. You know, they started their, their record label from the bottom together. But, uh... Quite frankly, they're poor. That's probably what's going on. They're pretty fucking poor. <laughs> now, yeah. you know, there's a couple routes you can go with this. There's, uh, you know, the generic, generic route. I bet you that's, that's some of the men, men that have tried to phone him. Maybe yeah. something a little more spicy that maybe Pete could uh, present you. But the first thing first, I mean, are you interested in taking a route with Wu Chang? You know? <laughs> he said, um, essentially, yeah. It depends said, what they're pretty fucking of... poor. <laughs> What route that would be i don't think that necessarily like an, a simple artist deal signing here would be the best thing to do because obviously i've got ties with tommy before i got to the city you know um and i've got a lot of respect for the, the boys over there so i kind of did say to them I, I wouldn't sign as wu chang as an artist and the reason that was the case is because i feel like you guys are already kind of in a really really good spot um i'm still going to be able to offer myself to you guys for you know shows or events or whatever it may be yeah. Yeah, and also still work with people. So I was very kind of like thinking, you guys are exactly where you need to be, whereas Mandem Records, I think, do need a bit of guidance, a bit of help in that direction. Um, so that's why I, just, I kind of was thinking that the artist deal maybe wouldn't work over here. Um, you know, but obviously I just spoke to Pete briefly and he kind of did plant some seeds in my head that were pretty, yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah, so me and Kay was talking and we was, uh, Kay's always thought about having a, like a sister label. So we was, uh, yeah. We was wondering if uh, that would interest you, you know, being able to have a branch off Wu Chang, you know, it's a label you could, uh, you can kind of head up the same way I kind of head Wu Chang here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And we wouldn't be like, you know, watching over your shoulder and shit. It would just be more of, uh, you'll have a bigger machine behind you, backing you as well for for the times where you need it. But in general, you'll you'll be in charge of everything that goes on at your label. Sweet. And how would that actually, I mean, first and foremost, that, that sounds like a, a, definitely a dream of mine. I mean, Elle, Elle and I spoke about, uh, no matter what happened with the label decision, whether, you know, Wu Chang or Mandem, long term, you know, a record label was something that we would love mm -hmm. to do. Uh, and we did the event, you know, kind of ourselves. We had support from Wu Chang and Mandem Records, obviously, as well. But we kind of set that whole event up, you know, sort of independent. It went really well. So we've definitely got what it takes to kind of build a team and build a label slash company slash something big in a city. Um, so it's de it is definitely something within scope. Um, how, how would it work exactly though? And how would the record label kind of, would, it, would we be able to try and figure out a way to then get the tapes done or what, what, how, how would it actually look like? I got an idea for that, P. Um, actually what you said earlier. So a possibility, uh, one of the options would be we have a floor, uh, construction, an extra floor added to this building here, which would be, let's just say, you know, Don Records. So the flat whole floor would be okay. down records. You could have whatever you want in there, a lounge, a studio, 
office, whatever. Um, and essentially, you would use our services uh, to do whatever you need. Recordings, tapes, uh, merchandise, all that stuff. Yeah, so it'd be a bit okay. like uh, you still have access to the major label services, like everything, all, uh, our teams, our editing teams, merchandise teams, our promotion teams, but it's for your label, you know? It'll still be your label and how you yeah. want to do things. Nah, that sounds sick, to be fair. That sounds really cool. That would be, be something good we could work towards. Um, and one thing I would ask, obviously, because I'm a bit tangled now with the, with the band and records, and I definitely don't want to disrespect them guys there. Um, what would it, what would the outlook be if I was to still want to kind of work with them and kind of help them out with collaborations and events and stuff? I'm not I saying I'd be... For sure. Yeah. I mean, P collabs with them all the time. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's what if, if it was a, a label, you know, sister label. I think that's something that I would I would probably do more than I would do necessarily if I was at Wu Cheng. Obviously, I'm not going to fly the flag of Minor Records or anything like that, but I would definitely want to offer myself to them as help. Um, you know, where they would need it. I mean, look at it this way: Dean is Mandem, right, and he is signed to Wu Cheng. Yep. Yes, true, true, true. Okay, okay. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You. So it's like you could. Be, yeah. A lot of people don't realize it's like there's music. You know, like you could be signed to any label and still have friends outside of the city. You know, you don't have to be yeah. you, just because if you was to sign with Wu Chang, whether you sign to us or have your own label that's that's with us, you don't have to then roll with us every day because you, you do whatever you want. Do you know what I mean? There's artists on this label I don't really see unless there's an event, you know, they're off living their life, yeah. you know, you're free yeah. to do whatever you wish. You want to work with people, roll with people. That's, that's none of our business. Our only business is the music. No, I feel that. Yeah. I, I do think we've definitely got something to bring to the table in terms of what we can achieve with a label or a company for sure. Cause I've got ideas as well that I would have say with, um, if I was an artist at Wu Chang or if I was an artist at Mandem records, but one thing I'm not the best at is kind of, uh, if I have ideas and it kind of clashes with someone else, I feel bad that I may step on their toes, you know? So having something that I can kind of lead would be sick, you know? And it also would give me the freedom then, right. To not have to worry about offending other people's management, management, management styles. Right. Yeah. 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 What is it that you would want from this deal, though? Like, is there something that you're looking? Are you asking to me get? that, or Don? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You and and P. Oh, just growth and expansion of the the you know just another the world of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. This is yeah. something we didn't, wanted to do in the past, but it kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, has done sign to Wu No, no. We having a meeting. Massive, and we've been thinking for a while now, kind of just breaking off into branches, having maybe different. Uh, Labels under people and giving people more chance Expanding. to different routes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly that. I mean, I, I could easily do it, but since you came and you know, we've we've definitely see the hard work you've done. You put you came and did your own show. I haven't really seen much people do that. You did your own show before signing and stuff. So we could definitely yeah. see the hard work in the graft. I definitely think you can. Uh, mm -hmm put that into running your own label you know we've already seen it and witnessed it so we definitely feel like having a sister label and you definitely uh running it could be something sick not just for us but for the entire city you know yeah i feel you with that and shout out to l as well for having the, the partnership with me because i was not gonna do a show for the ep i was gonna make one in a couple of days yeah show it to mr k show it to Amanda records and then see what happened there but l kind of had the vision to turn it into a show um, and that's just a, a testament to what the, the, the partnership could continue to be at the at the potential, you know, sister label. Yeah, I mean that's big. Uh, we like that a lot. Yeah, we have we have a lot of ideas. <laughs> I mean, can I ask a question? Do you have your own company, L? Like, is it? Do you run like a? Is it like an agency company, or you just manage Don? Uh, you're I just his agent. No, it's something that I've discussed with Don about having. Um, right now, we just have um, Don Dolph Limited. Mm -hmm. which is what we use just to be able to be able to charge people. Yeah. And we hired um, sales and started hiring people on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you now. Shit went quiet yeah. for me. For yeah, me. yeah, yeah. We can hear you now. Right. Okay. So have you ever thought about having your own sort of like agency? Because what do you class yourself as? As a manager or like a booking agent like or a promoter? What do you class yourself as? <laughs> it's kind of changed. <laughs> so when I started this with Dawn, it was more of... Um, I didn't want to take on more people because if I do something, I want to learn how to do it properly and right the first time. And I don't want things to fall through. So my main focus was seeing what we could do as a team together. 
and then that ended up becoming a lot more um, like the vision that we had and the ideas that we have, like talking about potentially having a label in the future. All, those are discussions that we've had already. Yeah. And the thing is, like, so we I'm saying we got we got a pattern of the agent as well, bro. We got to try and get the signature, bro. <laughs> all of that to get to that point. So the the hard work and you know the mindset is there already. Yeah, I feel you. I like that. I was gonna say, you know, if uh, if, if if that's something you wanted to do, even that could be another thing that we branch out. Is like you have an agency where if you find more people that are like yourselves wanting to help artists um, with bright ideas and management skills, that's something, and that that could be another branch, you know. Definitely, yeah. man. That sounds fucking sick. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I think there's so much sick RP. The Come on, so many people that with a little bit of guidance and a little more like if they were to put in a little bit more hard work to be able to elevate themselves a lot quicker. Yeah, with people seeing what we've done this past month, I've seen a lot of people motivated to create more music and do more collabs and. Um, create more events just for themselves, just put their names out there, and that's, that's what's exciting. Yeah, man. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, well, it's kind of on on you, really. To, I mean, if you want, like, we, we're not gonna hold a gun to your neck and ask you for a decision well, now. Can you hear? I can't, I, I can't hear. hear I can't me. hear Mr. K though. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Wait, what did you say? Uh, you can hear me now. Yeah, I can yeah. hear you now. Um, yeah, I was. I think Kay's having issues. So yeah, I was. Um, yeah, I was just saying. You know, don't feel like you've got to make a decision like right now. Uh, that's not how we operate. You know, obviously, I understand you've already had an offer on the table from the man them. Um, yeah. So definitely, if you want, go away, take some time, um, have a think, but. That's Sorry about that. my fucking ears keep fucking up. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. All good. yeah, all good. Yeah, we was just saying, um, yeah, we, we ain't gonna force you to make a decision now. You definitely, you know, I un understand you two are probably gonna want to go away, weigh up your options and stuff. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much our offer, and we are 100% like determined to make this work because it's something Kay's been thinking about for a while, even before I come to the city. Like he said, that's something he was yeah. planning to do before. And it kind of fell through. So the moment me and Kay were speaking about it, he was like 100%, you know, he's he's down. Um, until the construction's yeah. done, we can literally set you up straight away so you can already just start using our services. If you if you sign artists, um, they, you know, we can make it so that they they have a way of um, using the services because we already uh -huh. did something, right, where Down Bad Records, they didn't have nowhere to make no tapes. And, um, okay. you know, as, as a favor, because I just appreciate music in general, you know, me and Kay just said, all right, we'll charge them a little fee and they can come and use our services, right? But we can just do that for your sister label free because it's a sister label, you know? Yeah, yeah, I feel you. No, no, I'm, that, I'm just definitely interested in this. I think we'll, we'll chat to Elle. I think we are the right people to do it as well, myself and mm -hmm. Elle, because we've got a big, you know, big, a lot, a lot, a lot of vision and uh, big plans to get there. So I think we can definitely um, chat. Do this justice, tell tell you know? K if he's having issues, um, he might need to I nap. Have to figure out how it's, it's not us that needs to mumble. He him. might need to nap. <laughs> even, even it, it happened team earlier. Team tell him it was a big um, outage earlier. Just feel good. Well, he might just need to nap. Even, yeah, the way the meetings flow is just there's a difference. You know, uh, is what the if Don decides to go with that offer. Um, would the label have to be here in the Wu-Chang offices? Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's just to kind of help you guys out where you wouldn't have to buy a, another place. Um, you know, we we essentially would be just expanding our building and it wouldn't be you covering the costs. But if you, uh, if you are trying to have your label at, at another place, then there's obviously, you know, it has to be bought, you know? So that has to be taken into consideration. That's mm -hmm. that's my only thought on it, you know. But um, I don't I don't think it will be a problem to have it somewhere else. You can have it pretty much anywhere you want. I mean, there's a there's quite a few like if you wanted to change certain storefronts or if you've seen anywhere you 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 think um you know you can work, operate out of. You know, we're obviously down to uh have a have a look at it and talk and see what we can do to make it happen. So you're essentially saying that you, as like Wu Chang, would cover the cost of building up that sister label. Well, yeah, if it's start. if it's here in this if it's here in this building, a hundred percent. I think when it comes to 
uh if he was buying if he was buying a property then that's something we would have to talk about because obviously some money might have to be made back but because yeah. we're because we're all determined to make this happen you know we, i think we might be able to say you know we could just write off certain things we could just say you know what like as part of the deal we will if we find a, a building for a nice price we'll just buy it and and get you started that way do you know what i'm saying um yeah there's there's loads of ways. There's 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 a lot more in, in depth the discussion can go in terms of sorting out all the all the ins and outs of like even if like if it yeah. comes down to like profit margins and shit like there's different ways you know like K is quite a generous man. He's he's very wealthy. He might be up for like you know just literally setting you guys up and letting you do your thing. And he doesn't want any pennies. It's just it's just a, as long as his name's on the on the paperwork as as like co-owner or something like that as is obviously a sister yeah. label to Wu Chang he might just be fine with that and not want anything from you guys because he genuinely does support yeah. the idea you know so that, that's I, yeah that's good enough. I appreciate that for sure but I would love to be able to actually say yeah I get you, done, you know? yeah yeah I get you but obviously we I just want you to feel like there's no pressure on that you know he's yeah, he's absolutely. not going to be chasing you down to make money he makes money elsewhere you know he genuinely just yeah. like every artist on this label is being paid f like sometimes just through him sometimes he might just make a you know yeah. a decent amount of money and just be like you know i want to i want to spoil my artist you know so i just don't want you yeah, to feel absolutely. like if we if we helped you out and then you feel like oh shit i owe this owed i owe all this money i gotta put on hella fucking shows i don't want you to feel like that <laughs> you know that's not that's not how that's not how we yeah. operate yeah yeah i feel you well, uh, no, I think we, we can probably work on, if we were to go ahead, we can work on that, like whether it's a, a building or, sorry, a floor in here or whether it's yeah. a separate building. We can see how that goes and just have, put ideas down. Yeah. Whatever makes the most sense, we go for it. But um, I think both options would be really, really sick. And um, yeah, well, I was going to ask a question. Obviously, I don't want to be uh, too, too kind of like forward with it, but what kind of financials, what, what would they look like as part of this kind of package? Obviously, because I got an offer on the table that's probably further on the table with Mandan Records. So I just want to see kind of like what would the... Uh, how would that look or is it just gonna be more like investment as we go you know yeah uh i think k's having an issue right now but from speaking okay. from speaking earlier he was um the originally he wanted to offer you half a mil um yeah so i i would i guess i'd have to have a conversation with him to see what we can do in terms of it being a sister label you know i, I could probably add some money to that myself because you're gonna need money to start up um yeah yeah so uh we could probably have a talk but i know the the very minimum would be half a mil because he literally told me like 10 15 minutes before we met with you that he was planning yeah. to offer you half a mil anyway so yeah yeah that you you're pretty yeah, yeah can. i can hear you yeah, right. yeah i don't know what's going on <laughs> yeah it's so good yeah no he's just asking um like how much it would be to kind of help him get started up on a label and i was saying originally you was gonna offer half a mil anyway so i don't mind putting some on top to help you start the label as well yeah we can do a half a mil yeah i think um one thing that's important to me as well is like no matter what the money is saying i'd love to put it into the, the business anyway like for me having money like l, l knows this as well we've had the business account that we've had for you know the agency or whatever we're doing you yeah know, Limited, and we i i put everything <laughs> everything i have i put every last penny into that yeah I feel you. Um, so even even if there is some sort of like you know bonus sign on bonus it would just be part of the you know the label yeah uh, yeah yeah anyway. yeah i feel you so yeah i could definitely like throw some money on top of that bring it up to like 800k closer to a mil i'd even like well, we can, whatever you need we can yeah, yeah we, sure. we honestly like we genuinely want to do this so whatever you kind of realistically need we, we can definitely find the resources for and i've even got ideas to help out like for other things as well like there's up like yeah. i've since i've come to the set here I've, I've made a lot of money by doing a lot of things by reaching out to different brands and businesses mm -hmm. doing tracks for them or coming up with ideas so I can easily start hitting up people and trying to get stuff already straight away for your label to earn like yeah. decent cash straight away. Do you know what I mean? Like already there's someone waiting for me to do a track for them and it's, which is like 400K. So I could easily like say, oh, you know, we've got this label with some, some sick artists and, uh, yeah, you yeah. know, pass it over and then, you know, already your label's earning through through me at Wu Chang. And that's what it's about, being a sister label. Those yeah. are the opportunities yeah, you can yeah. get, you know? For sure, man. And I think I've spoke about this before, and I think you, you're like, you align with this as well. Um, obviously, you know, Wu Chang is a great label, but I also think just above everything, the music in the city is, is still really important, you know? So I think yeah. having, having this sister label as well does kind of 
help bridge the gap between you know other labels too i feel like every yeah. time i chat to wu-chang and man them they're always at each other's necks you know? yeah. so maybe yeah. th- th- this, this could be something that like bridges that gap you know and makes both parties feel more comfortable to kind of work together and we can all all do some sick stuff you know because music's music and then i guess like the rest of the business in the city is the rest of the business in the city whereas music can thrive and what's most important is the artist right and their success yeah exactly exactly yeah, that we're on the same page yeah, I would, love, I would love to see more record labels, to be honest. Uh, just uh, yeah. so people have more variety and more options and yeah. more freedom. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, like I said earlier, we literally helped Damn Bad out because we was like, okay, you got nowhere to go, no, no, no way for your artists to do shit, so we helped them out, you know? It's just unfortunate. Mm-hmm. They uh, they just don't really do much. Um, yeah, even yeah, though... Well, I don't think that would be us. I think we'd, we'd fucking kill it, you know? Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Awesome. Sick. All right, well, yeah, I guess I guess I'll mean I'll probably go chat and yeah. then just hit you up, you know. Yeah, go away, have yeah, a have a talk. Yeah. And, uh, if you're serious, we can we can go even farther with this. Maybe set up some meetings with some contractors who are looking, uh, you know, for construction work. And go down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That sounds sounds really good, man. And I think uh, it's just yeah, I appreciate you having a meeting and putting some that like, kind of like you know faith and some uh some inspiration in that. I really appreciate that. No worries, man. Of course. All right, sweet. We'll leave you to we'll it. Um, yeah, I'll give you a call or text, whatever, and we'll, we'll figure something out, yeah? All right. Appreciate you, mate. Right. Appreciate Thank you guys. You. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, man. I think, uh, honestly, I think when it comes to these kind of meetings, it needs to be like this, man. <laughs> like, when he, was yeah. f- when he was first here, there was like, seven eight of us in the room and everyone was like throwing oh, shit know, at it. Know. <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like that just felt like a really good meeting you know quick straight to the point and decent yeah yeah whenever we bring the whole squad it usually just doesn't <laughs> yeah bro <everyone. laughs> that was a quality meeting that's what it's all about like every other yeah i don't know it's kind of been like that i don't know why